guess what I have today? This. It is a nail art stamping templates kit, a lot of words, by Mekarat. So this is a really tiny box, but it has everything you need, including stamping polishes. This was like about $20 on Amazon, so it has everything in here. It's got like 10 stamping plates. It's got a clear stamper. You know, I'll just wait until I open this. I'm kind of giving everything away. So here is what is all inside of here. These things are really, really heavy. There's tin in here, and there's a little scraper. This thing is pretty cool. Most, most like scraper things are kind of like credit cards, but this one actually is clear, and it has little designs on it. So that's pretty cool. So it comes with five different stamping polishes. There is a beautiful metallic-y silver. So pretty. And then there is a gold color, and there's a little hair in it, but okay. And there's also a red color that looks like blood, a black, and a white. So there's also a little clear stamper. This thing is so cute, and it's super, super clear. It's also very, like, oily and kind of sticky. But you're supposed to prime this, so I will show you guys how to do that later on in the video. And it's also very convenient because you can actually see where you're applying the design. So, let's get one thing straight. These things are very heavy. So now let's open them. Open. Okay. So, these things are really, really pretty. There are 10 different, I was about to say pamphlets. I don't know where that came from. There are 10 different um, little stamping plates. And I'm going to show you guys all of them pretty quickly because I didn't want to talk through the whole thing just about these cool stamping plates. So here are the two out of ten that I felt like were really cool that I wanted to try and use. So now we're going to take off this blue, like, protecting thing. I've watched a lot of stamping videos, so now you have to pull this off first. And these things are very reflective, so I kind of had to be very careful in how I position this thing. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing to the second one, and here is one thing that you definitely need to do, is clean these off using, I'm using non-acetone nail polish remover because I don't have acetone, but you can use anything you want to get all the dust off. And, okay, so I'm going to be doing two of each, black and white, and I'm pointing at the completely wrong nails, so. And I'm going to do my thumb either black or white. And here are the polishes that I'm using for the base, and here they are. And I did black and white so that way I can see what the polishes look like on dark colors and light colors. So now to prime this little clear stampered thingy. So I've seen a lot of videos on how to do this by using scotch tape. So, yeah. So I got a piece of tape here, you literally can't see anything, you can hear the washer, or just ignore that. So you're just going to take the piece of tape and just kind of like squish it onto there. I don't know what it's supposed to do, but I guess it just cleans it to where it honestly made it a lot clearer. So I guess that's what it's supposed to do. So first we're going to test out the stamping polish. I am, yes, doing stamping polish and normal polish testing. I forgot to mention that, I guess. So I'm going to just take the black polish and just kind of do a line and then use the little scraper thing. And, I sc and then I ran the stamper over it and it did pick it up. And it did transfer on the nail pretty well. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. And if you have like little pieces still stuck on the stamper, just use a piece of the tape and it'll come off way easier. Do not use acetone on this, but you can use acetone on the plates to clean them in between things. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to the white polish. I had high hopes for this one and I thought, you know, it would work. It kind of picked it up, but I think I was just waiting too long. I tried that one design like seven times and I moved on to a different design thinking maybe a different design would help. I don't know what logic I had in my brain, but 
it would not work at all. So I just put that away and moved on to the silver polish. So I put it on this little like design that was like just dots and I thought it would look really cool with the silver and it didn't work the first time so I tried it again and it, it did work so there you go. And I put it on the black now because I thought the black and silver would look really cool and I completely messed it up so I had to fix it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're going to go to the red polish. Now this one is so bright red and I tried it on this like triangle design, didn't really work. So then I tried it again and you can tell it's going to work this time because it's very vibrant now. And I put it on my pinky and whoa, that was my reaction. <laughs> and to clean up the excess polish, you can either wait for it to dry and use tape. That didn't really work for me though or you can use nail polish mover like me. So now we're going to go into the, I was about to say brown, <laughs> the gold polish. And again, I had high hopes for this one. It didn't really work. I thought it was gonna work like the silver, but it didn't really transfer that well or look very good. So now I'm gonna try the white polish again. Again, this is a stamping polish, so it's supposed to work. So I put on these rose designs and wow, that looks beautiful. And I put it on the black nail because I thought, you know, black and white, very elegant. And then it looked like I rubbed milk on my nail. It was not very pigmented like it was on the stamper. So now I'm moving on to normal polish. So I try to find colors that were closest to the other colors and I'm using metallic polishes. So we got a fresh coat of polish on. And I'm going to go to the red polish. And I did the cheetah print design. Didn't work the first time. So then I tried it again. A lot of trial and error in this just stay with me and it transferred okay but why is it pink so now we're gonna go on to the Sally Hansen black polish I don't think this one's gonna work because it's very watery it didn't transfer it didn't really work now with these polishes I kind of thought they were going to work and they did actually work later on with like bigger designs these things dry really fast so I kind of had this coming it, they didn't transfer <laughs> long story short they didn't transfer now the white polish I got so excited for because this white polish is a lot more pigmented than the stamping polish but it would not transfer onto the stamper and I think it's because it dried too fast but I was going really fast and it would not transfer so I just gave up on that completely and now I'm going to do something a little more advanced um, a gradient so I took a pink and orange and it kind of transferred the first time and I put it over the white nail. I was just kind of giving up at this point. So these didn't come out very good. So after all of this trial and error, and I'm loopy from the fumes from all this polish because I've been doing this for two hours, I decided why not waste more of my time and do another design? So this, I didn't know what to do because there's a lot to choose from. It's kind of overwhelming. So I decided to do gold with black. And if you guys can't already tell, they're not smeared. So I wanted to share with you what top coat I used to make sure it didn't smear. So I used the Sally Hansen Hard Nails Extreme Top Coat and I did one swipe, two swipe, three swipe, cap the free edge. Don't do, like try to minimize the swipes. So my final thoughts on this product, it is amazing. It literally comes with everything you need. It is a great starter kit. It comes with multiple varieties of plates. It comes with nail polish and you can also put everything back into the thing, put it back in the box and save it for another time. These did work. I love the stamper. Love it, love it, love it. And in the end, you can seriously make anything you want you can look up so many videos you can create amazing designs and if you guys want this matter kit nail stamping temple templates kit i'll put it in the description below and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed me failing so much at this but yeah i'll see you guys next video bye <laughs>